Mazda, known for some of their amazing sports cars like the MX-5 Miata, the RX-7 Rotary, or even the later less loved RX-8, is taking an electrified leap into the future with this stunning Mazda Vision SP concept showcased at Japan's Mobility Show. This vision offers a glimpse of what might lie ahead for Mazda as they give the legendary RX Vision and the MX-5 some alone time, fusing the spirit of the legendary FD RX-7 with the lightweight sports car nature of the MX-5 in an evolutionary twist. Now the transformation of an iconic model like the MX-5 is a challenging endeavor, as witnessed by the less popular third generation NC model. With the Vision SP, Mazda's goal was clear to craft a sleek, compact sports car capable of track performance and daily driving comfort. This concept, laden with a two-rotor, rotary powertrain and hybrid assistance, promises to rejuvenate the spirit of the Miata with a modern twist. So, Mazda dubs the Vision SP as hosting a two-rotor, rotary EV system that can operate on hydrogen and other carbon-neutral fuels, which is amazing. On this channel, we have talked about hydrogen in depth, and I do feel like it is the future of combustion engine vehicles. But even better, this ingenious system generates a combined power output of 365 horsepower. Now later in this video, we'll go deeper into the powertrain, how it works, how much power it will generate, etc. So just stay to the end. But for now, let's talk about some of the concept's cool features. So the concept harbors a fascinating capability. It can serve as a backup power source, supplying a family with electricity for over a week. While specifics about the battery pack and electric motors remain undisclosed, this innovation opens up new possibilities for sustainable electric power. By the way, in South Africa where I live, we have a thing called load shedding, where the government actually switches off our power for a few hours each day. So a tech like this would make our lives a lot easier. Anyways, outside, the Vision SP dons a luscious coat of viola red, accentuating its graceful curves and unblemished lines. In an era dominated by aggressive and sharp designs, Mesta is taking a refreshing approach with a modern interpretation of pop-up headlights and the emblematic smiling grill. Now in terms of dimensions, the iconic SP concept measures in at 4.1 meters in length, 1.85 meters in width and stands at 1.1 meters tall. This makes it 10 inches longer than the current Miata, and because of its hybrid system, it's a bit heavier, clocking in at 1,450 kilograms, but 1.4 tons with 365 horsepower will be super fun. So I'm personally excited to see what will come from this concept. Now Master's representative director, president and chief executive, Mashiyoro Moro, emphasized the company's commitment to deliver vehicles that bring pure joy to the lives of car enthusiasts. He stated, as a car-loving company that mass produces the inspiring mobility experience, we are committed to shaping the future with our partners, sharing the same goal as well as our fans, where everyone can proudly say, we love cars. With such a strong will, Mazda is committed to enrich life in motion for those we serve. The iconic powertrain of the iconic SP concept diverges from conventional setups Unlike most sports cars, it doesn't rely on a traditional combustion engine to drive the wheels. Instead, this revolutionary Mazda concept features a mid-mounted two-rotor engine. But here is the thing. Mazda says that the setup resembles that of the Mazda MX-30 REV, employing a series hybrid configuration. So let's quickly talk about the MX-30. In the MX-30 REV, the small single-rotor engine is situated in the front, with an electric motor driving the wheels. The combustion engine's role is primarily as a compact generator to produce electricity, charging the lithium-ion battery pack. This engine contributes 74 horsepower and 85 pound-feet of torque. While the MX-30 EV offers a modest range of about 100 miles, the addition of the rotary engine equipped with a 13.2-gallon fuel tank extends the driving distance to approximately 372 miles. The car can travel approximately 53 miles on electric power alone, before the rotary engine takes over. This design brings together the best of both electric and combustion power, blending zero emission driving with extended range capabilities. Now what I don't know for sure is if the rotary engine will send power to the wheels or not, but I do think it will send power to the wheels and here is why. A while ago, Mazda filed a patent for a mid-mounted rotary sports car, and in this patent, the rotary motor does send power to the rear wheels, while the electric motor is mounted behind the engine with the propeller shaft leading 
from the output of the electric motor to a transmission located at the rear axle. But Mazda didn't really clarify at the show which system it would use. They just said that it would have a setup resembling that of the MX-30, which could mean that the motor can only provide charge or it could mean that it does both. I personally hope it does both because combustion engines this just have a lot more character than EVs. Anyways, the two rotor engine in the iconic SP concept introduces another layer of innovation. It has been engineered to run on various fuels, including hydrogen, underscoring Mazda's forward looking approach. The company's engineering team has successfully demonstrated that the powertrain of the iconic SP performs reliably on diverse fuel types. Now Mazda has not disclosed the electric motor layout or the battery capacity for the iconic SP concept. But they did give us the total power output, which I said previously in the video, of 365 horsepower. Now this represents a significant leap from previous rotary powered models like the 3rd gen RX-7, which had 255 horsepower, or even the latest powered sports car master produced, the RX-8, which only produced 232 horsepower. Now to end it off, while the iconic SP is currently a concept, it introduces a novel approach to keeping the rotary engine alive. And I am personally super excited. But let me know down below what you think of this new Mazda. Um, do you think anything will come from this concept? And how do you think they will employ the rotary engine? Do you think it will be anything like the patent that they um, filed a while ago where the engines actually sent out of the wheels? Or do you think it's going to be exactly like the MX-30 where the motor is just a power generator? One of the big reasons why I do think it's going to send power to the wheels is in the MX-30 it's a really small single rotor engine and here it's a two rotor. You don't need a two rotor engine to generate electricity. Um, it's unnecessarily big. But if they actually want to send some of the power to the wheels, then a two rotor would actually be really good. But let me know down below what you guys thought of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to the video. And if you guys did like it, you'll most probably like some other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll take you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh? Thank you.